Imitators of Civic's 1985 Qingdaosaurus illustration made face bulbs like this almost standard for a while. There was a whole generation of illustrations and from that toys that either took inspiration from or just straight up copied Civic's art. Again, check out Love in the Time of Chasmosaurus for a bunch more examples. This toy even has the trademark Civic lateral wrinkles that he loved to put on all of his ornithopods. Now I noticed that Civic's illustration of Saurolophus as well as Qingdaosaurus shows tubercules with a contrasting stretched skin in between them, just like Hobson originally proposed. But then the toys will often have just tuberculate pavement on them, which implies to me that they're more like a cask, like they, the skin doesn't actually move. Not that it matters, because as enlightened beings from the future, we know that the bone part of Qingdaosaurus's crest looked nothing like this. But there was another option for a while take away the crest entirely. 